I've never been a huge fan of racing games. I do have my fun with them, but I mostly just stuck to Mario Kart and haven't really played anything else. When the Switch came out, there weren't that many games. I got Breath of the Wild a 1-2 Switch at launch, so a few weeks later I was getting a bit bored and wanted to try something new. Like, the Switch had no games, so I didn't have many options. I don't remember why, but I chose Fast RMX because I thought it looked cool, and it was only $20, one of the cheaper games. I love going back to this game, and it's criminally underrated. So here, I'm going to discuss what this game has to offer and why I think so greatly of it. Fast RMX is a fast, futuristic racer. If I had to compare it to something, it would be F-Zero on its fast gameplay. The gimmick is there are blue and orange boost panels all over the track. Pressing the X button switches the color of your vehicle, and if your color matches the boost panels, you get a boost, while being the other color, you go slower. You pick up orbs around the track that can be used to boost at any time. If you don't have any orbs, you can't boost, but you can still go really fast. I like this gameplay idea. You collect orbs to save them for long stretches with no boost and switch colors to retain your speed. Pressing ZL or ZR turns your vehicle slightly and is required to do well and keep you on the track. It takes a lot of quick thinking and decision making, which isn't inherently a bad thing, but it can be tense and crashing can lose a lot of time. Sometimes one crash can even cost you the game. Lap around the track three times or so to claim victory. This game looks beautiful. The graphics are great and all the detail put into the environment and extra things like the track, the sky, and especially the vehicles. There are 15 vehicles and one of them is based off the Blue Falcon from F-Zero which is cool. You can tell they didn't cheap out on the visual style of this game. It looks really nice, maybe even better than a few first party Switch games. I'm not saying stuff like Kirby Star Allies don't look nice, but look at this. Look at all the detail this game has. It's an indie game with a small budget relative to a game like Kirby. It really amazes me on how they did this. Getting into the game, there are a few modes. The first one is Championship. In all the modes, you could use your speed class, subsonic, supersonic, hypersonic. I mostly stick to subsonic because everything else is just way too fast for me. Then you choose a cup, which has three tracks in it. You compete for the most points. This is basically the same idea as the Grand Prix for Mario Kart. But while you're racing, Jesus, the computers are ruthless. They go so fast that it feels like you have to play perfectly to catch up with them. It is totally possible, but like one big screw up and you aren't coming back. It kind of reminds me of the older Mario Karts where the computer is just hard, so it doesn't become boring, but sometimes it's just too much. The game isn't welcome to new players, which is an issue if you want more people to play. If you play and get crushed your first time, you probably don't want to come back and get better, and for the people who have been playing this game for a while, it isn't too bad. But when I first played, I got my ass kicked and didn't come back for a couple months. Although, I did come back, not everyone will, which is a problem if they want to grow the community. I think championship mode is fine, but you don't get anything out of it, so there really isn't a point unless you want to go for 100%, where there is a percent cleared on the main menu for each mode, which I like, it helps me keep track of things. Next up is multiplayer. Split screen multiplayer is basically what it sounds like, you could play up to 4 people on the same screen. You can change the rules of the speed if you want computers or what tracks you want to select. What is weird is you can choose how many laps you want, from 1 to 5. No other place in the game has this feature, and I didn't even know about it until now. I guess that's cool, but I mostly stick to free labs. Next is online, or online with friends. And... Yeah, whenever you go online, 99% of the time, no one else is playing. This community is really dead. You basically have to coordinate if you want to go online and play with friends. Luckily, if you want to, I own a fast RMX Discord where you play online and have tournaments. You should join if you have the game. Yes, shameless promotion. Anyways, online is... Eh, it works a lot of the time, but the other time where it doesn't work. It's a buggy mess. There are constant rubber banding with everyone else, and even when it says you finish first, sometimes it'll say you got second. Once I got first and it said I came in fifth. It can be really buggy and the net code is not well developed. But it doesn't happen too often, but it is something to keep in mind. You get points for clearing a race. That's it. There's nothing you can do with the points. The points are completely superfluous. I wish they went towards something like unlocks of new skins or small things like that. Overall, this is where I spent most of my time playing the game with my community. Even with all the negatives, it's still fun. Next up is Hero Mode, and if you thought Championship Mode was hard, well I have some bad news for you. So here, it's just like a standard race, but now your boost meter is also a health bar. If you get hit, you lose some of your boost, lose all of it, it's game over. I don't really play this mode because it's really hard. You have to micromanage using your boost strategically so you can stay ahead with also not bumping into walls or other racers. If you want a harder mode of the game, then by all means, this is for you. It isn't for me though, but it does give the game a lot of extra content, and it also shows percent completed, which is nice. Too bad I'm never gonna 100% it. 
the final racing mode is Time Attack. This is used to try to get better at specific courses. You can race against the developer time, and that's about it. Clearing it will contribute to your percent on completing. I like slowly chipping away at it, trying to get done. It also helps me get better at individual courses. Those are all the standard game modes. In options, you can do stuff like remap your controls and use motion controls. Why would you ever do that? You can also change stuff like sound and how the other racers appear. You can view the credits, and that's Fast RMX. I really do like this game. It is a lot of fun, but I have small gripes with it. First off is the online. What is the point of having points if they don't mean anything? It isn't like Mario Kart where VR determines matchmaking. This game has so few players that it just matches you with who's ever online. I wish the points contributed to something like unlocking different skins or announcer voices, or even online leaderboards. The points don't mean anything, they're just there. Small things like that that don't impact the game directly but give you something to work towards. Because as it stands, I'm playing just to play and not complete anything. You can get 100% in all the different modes, but you don't get anything for it either. Also things like achievements are a sound test. The music is great, and achievements would give you smaller milestones to set. Maybe something like Fire Emblem Warriors, where you can unlock exclusive artwork for clearing challenges. That would be such a cool thing. I'm 99% sure the devs aren't going to update the game. It came out at the Switch's launch, and it seems like they've moved on, which is a major bummer. But don't take that as this game is dumb, stupid, and dumb. I love this game, but with a few small additions, it could just make that game so much better. I still think it's impressive for being an indie game. Good game mechanics and beautiful graphics. If you're a fan of racing games, or even F-Zero, this is a must-play. While I do think it could be a lot better, the devs did a wonderful job of supplying a fun, fast racing game. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll put the Fast RMX Discord server in the description. You should join and say hi. I'm really sorry about not being able to stream these past two weeks. Something urgent came up and I had to attend to that. I hope you understand. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.